All right. Thank you for coming to the October 4th core team meeting. And the first thing on our agenda is that it seems like this meeting time actually isn't working for a lot of folks. Um, do we have volunteers to run another doodle and see if things have changed since the last time we ran a doodle? Yeah, I could put one together. Great. Thank you, Mark. Uh, the next item is who should receive privacy at rustlang.org. Um, it's currently the core team. Do we have any? So thoughts? there's basically the first decision to make, is it okay if it's just core team? I think Mark was of that opinion. Um, there's the other suggestion that everyone who runs a service that might receive emails with privacy concerns. Um, the leads should also be included. So for example, Crates.io. Um, there's, could be argued both ways. I think um, Mark's argument was that just sending it to the core team makes the core team responsible. And otherwise the responsibility, for example, if it's a Crates.io email, is the core team responsible and the uh, Crates.io team just CC or the other way around or what happened there? So. Yeah, I also had the, that a lot of this is going to basically be, I think, like we should reach out to legal and ask. And that is basically something that we probably need to be involved in. Um, so. Okay. It's also not a decision that we can't change. So yeah. if you decide to keep it like that, then that's a decision. That's why I made it urgent. It's something we can get on the table quick. Yeah, I think we should keep it as the core team right now and make sure we, you know, forward it to the appropriate people. We don't necessarily have to actually take care of it, but just make sure it's forwarded if necessary. And we'll see how that goes. See what kinds of emails this gets. So, all right. The next item is XAMPP Rocky has requested that we uh, specify how many meetings we want to run at the all hands, the Rust all hands, so yeah. they can get an idea of uh, logistics. I, I haven't actually been to a Rust all hands, so I don't know how many meetings the core team typically runs. Does anyone remember? I not core team at the all hands. I, it, I mean, it might be worth waiting for more people who have been to Core Team uh to be around, uh, particularly. My, okay. Looking at the schedule, my impression was like we have two or three, not many. Okay. Yeah, and I found that that wasn't really enough. But, but the, the problem is that a synchronous meeting is often used as a, uh, well, let's try and get everything off the table and it becomes overwhelming. Mm -hmm. So. It would, it would make sense to have a number based around particular topics way ahead of time, but I don't know how feasible that is and ask to, like, I would just put down a number and then we make do. I would okay. propose three as our initial offering and then we can sort of revise that up or down. I will just check with Nico real quick uh, to make sure three is a reasonable number, and then I will take care of responding to that email. All right, um, Mark, stop shipping unstable Rusty crates by default. Who should be held responsible? Um, are we just deciding who should be held responsible, or are we, we I, deciding I mean, on that? To an extent, I don't know that we have quorum here. Yeah. But Basically, the gist of this comes down to we don't really have a team responsible for like what we ship to end users. Um, if it comes down to it, I think we can just sort of do this because it's on stable implementation detail. And like if the compiler team is okay with it, then we can just do it. But if people have thoughts or people I should talk to, I would appreciate knowing that. Just as a clarification, that basically everything that I get access to if I um, if I use the Rusty unstable feature flag. Yes. Yes. Okay. 
And, and the um, would be I could add them as a component. Yes. Oh, I think. Go ahead. I think that makes a lot of sense. The, the main goal here is to cut the default install size by like 100 megabytes, which is pretty good. Yeah. From the DevTools side, like all the DevTools basically use this stuff, or many of the DevTools use this stuff, but they use it like it's totally okay to install it as a component, given that have many of them use Rust up Toolchain on Install Master anyway. So like as long as it's available and as long as the tooling story is good, which it is because of Rust up Toolchain Install Master, we should be fine. Um, clients who are still using lints like Servo can do the Rust up component add in the it's like it's not it's just a component, it's fine, I think. So okay. it would but I would still need to download them if I were to use, for example, Clippy? No. So Clippy links to the same libraries Rust C links to dynamically at runtime. These libraries are always shipped. What, what we're talking about not shipping is the R libs, which you need for building your own Clippy, which only right. like, Clippy people do. And we can install a component if we have to. I think that will make CI users very happy to not download them all the time, because I think that's that's the vast majority of our downloads. Um, About a third, yeah. Yeah. OK. OK, so it sounds like we're OK with the compiler team making the final decision, and we're generally in favor of this. Does that sound like a good summary? Yeah. OK, I will uh, follow up on CC relevant folks and such. Awesome. Thank you, Mark. Okay, uh, into the action items, initiatives, tasks, strict, ah, tasks. Uh, Florian, to create guidelines for the sync meeting for teams and send them out. No, not yet done. Okay, uh, Nico's not here. Uh, Nico's not here. Legal issues, uh, the crates IO privacy thing has been all done. It has been moved. It has been merged. It has been merged, and I uh, added a link in Crates.io's footer to that page, so the Crates.io issue is closed as well. Great. So hooray! Thank you, everyone. Um, so we can stop checking have we on that. Have we replied on the thread where the like really concerned person was asking for this? The I assume they got something when the issue is closed. Okay. I feel like it would be good to just like leave a comment that says, we believe this is done. We don't have to get into details, but like. I think, Carol, correct me, you wrote something to that effect. This is done through these and these PRs, like the standard command. I don't know if I like added a comment. Uh, when I actually put the link in the footer. I, I know I left one that said, I'm going to once the website PR was merged. But then like the Crates.io issue just, I think just got closed when my footer one. Oh, okay. I pasted a link in Discord. Thank you. I was just uh, fumbling around for that. Um, so yeah, I commented in August that there was a PR up and then three days ago it got closed. So I'm happy to comment again, just make sure. I don't feel strongly, so up to you. Okay. Um, um, yeah. I think they got noticed that we got, that they could review what we had. So I think closing is enough of, a, of an information. Okay. Um, any movement on the licensing copyright clarity? Um, no, I accept that one comment. It is completely fine if team members add to um, libraries that we currently have on the license review, as long if they're fine with us relicensing. So, Known people, you could just ask them, are you okay with future relicensing? And they're okay with that. Okay. 
Uh, white papers. Uh, no movement. Okay. Um, community sub team for the website. I would like to work on setting up the translation team mm -hmm. this month and finding a leader for that and only that. What do you mean by the translation team, like the localization, uh, internationalization team? Yeah, because people are asking like every two weeks whether that team is moving. So we should yeah. focus on that one. Yeah, I, I filed an issue on the localization WG repo. I'll, I'll link you to it later. Yeah. About what my plans were. Um, and like, I don't have the time to do this, but like someone could. It's not something that I need to do. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm linking to it in core. Okay, um, website slogan modification. Yeah. Okay. I should probably be removed from that item. I don't really have thoughts on that and I don't know how to go about that. Okay. Yeah. I, just an idle thought. I think it would be fun to, if we're talking about the next roadmap, to say, hey, um, maybe the new roadmap could point to a new slogan or something. I don't know. Okay, I think I forget what the status is of the roadmap. If it's a paper doc, I think there's a paper doc, right? Yeah. So yeah, you could add that to Nico's paper doc. Yep. Um, all right. Uh, XAMPP Rocky is clearly moving on the all hands since they've sent us the email about our meetings. Um, I don't know anything other than that. Anyone else have any update? I don't think. I think that should be moved to some just tracking. It's basically our work is done here as long as we okay. track that stuff is done. All right, then I'm taking this off. Um, Nico's not here for the roadmap planning. Steve's not here for the blog posts. Uh, Nico's not here for the Rust survey. And that brings us to the end of the open part of the meeting. Okay. So, yeah.